The Kitchener-Waterloo region, we've talked about it a lot already. It's been buzzing with Trudeau and Green Party leader Elizabeth May, uh, both stopping by there on Monday. May in the region for the second day today. CTV's Leanne Evans is joining us from Kitchener this morning. And Leanne, good morning to you. In 2015, the Liberals took the urban ridings in Waterloo, Kitchener and Guelph, while uh, rural ridings went to the Conservatives. Is this anyone's race in the region right now? What are you hearing? Well, good morning, Amory. Yeah, it's clear that both Trudeau and May have deemed this area a priority, but I was chatting with Peter Wollstonecroft last evening. He's a local political scientist in the region, and he says right now the two big competitors are the Liberals and Conservatives, and a majority or minority government will affect their ability to dominate the region. But he does note that, of course, it is the early days still in the campaign. But Let's keep in mind that in 2011, this region was completely blue. Then in 2015, four of the five districts went red other than Kitchener-Conestoga, but that race was really close as well. So this time around, each of those two big parties want to win at least three of the five seats. But then you also have the Greens who are making a lot of noise in Kitchener Center. So they would still end up meeting a huge increase from their vote share from recent elections. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. What are key things for voters in that region? What are they listening for at each of these campaign stops? Well, public safety and the economy appear to be the top two rising issues here in the region. On the public safety front, the opioid crisis continues to take center stage. So Wilstoncroft actually expects downtown Kitchener's consumption and services site and the growing unrest with addiction in Cambridge to be issues for the Liberal incumbents. Voter-wise, I'll tell you what one voter told us, and that's that they don't feel everyone is looking out for your health and safety, saying that you have to be looking out for yourself here. So addiction and treatment services is definitely a big talk about, and who's willing to combat the opioid crisis. So that'll depend on which parties are prepared to take measures and address it. And then you have the economy front. For voters that we spoke with, having affordable housing options is something that really stood out as one of their top priorities. In Kitchener, the average rent has jumped higher than any other city in Canada in just the past year. So some voters are attributing this to the minimum wage hike, saying certain areas in the region have gotten expensive and they want to see that be controlled. So housing is definitely an economic subfile that really, at, at the end of the day, could turn local voters one way or the other. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.